So just for fun today, I'm going to show you, with dirty fingernails and all, how to turn anything into anything. Now, what are we looking at here? A crude drawing, obviously. But what this is a drawing of is just a simple old school chopper trike. And how we've done this is inside of here, right here, we've got, this is the air cleaner. This is the heads of the engine, transmission. And we've changed the suspension over a little bit. We're just using straight up shocks instead of a, a strut tower. So that lowers that down a little bit. And this is a right off the front of a front wheel drive car, just to show you what I'm talking about. If we had a car here, it would look like this. This would be the dash or it'd be the steering wheel, right? Something like that. So we remove the dash, remove the steering wheel, use the whole drivetrain going this direction, okay? And we're gonna, for a trike like this, you wanna use an automatic. Uh, I love a stick shift. You can use a stick shift if you want. If it's got a cable shifter, it's not so hard to move the shift linkage. And we would move that down here on the other side. Or if we're going to go with an automatic, same thing. But most cars have a cable shift today, so you just need to have mounts that lock down that cable and the key points. And you want to, you'll probably have to extend a little bit. Oftentimes on an automatic, they'll come right off the top. We'll go down the side and we'll put this right down here. And then we're going to install a normal master cylinder, just not powered brakes, but just a master cylinder right here that is going to power the car's disc brakes because every car has disc brakes these days and all of the weight even though the momentum is forward all of the actual weight of this vehicle is obviously over these rear wheels if you want a front brake you know we're going to chop up a motorcycle to get this but this front brake on here will be just fine because really we're going to be using the foot brake and then a hand brake up here for this one now that would be good enough. I would be. I would have a lot of fun in this vehicle. But the title of this video is Anything Can Become Anything. So I've just done a quick illustration. Now obviously if I built this, there's gonna, I'm going to run into problems and I'm going to have to modify this. This might have to come out a little longer here. Move the radiator to the back right here. Put an electric fan on in case it has any kind of other fan, etc. I'm going to have to reroute the exhaust and that's what this is coming out the back here. So this is a pretty ridiculous wild ride and I'm about to make it that much sillier. The other day I was drawing a little UTV for myself and thinking ah, I could make this out of bits and pieces of a front wheel drive car. Very similar setup to this but two wheels in the front using Miata suspension and then tube framing. And when I got done with it I thought what if I added a body to this what would it look like? And I was able to modify it so that it looked like a Lancia Stratus. And I thought, you know what? Despite what anybody says, I think the OG Lancia Stratus is one of the most beautifully proportioned and fun, exciting looking cars I've ever seen. And I love the bodies on them. So here's a fun, here's a fun thought project. Can we turn this trike into a Lancia Stratus. Um, I don't know. Let's find out. So, number one, we're going to have to reroute this exhaust. We don't want this. We're going to have to reroute this sissy bar. Okay. Our poor passenger is going to get cut off from this. That's just how it is. You don't have like a rumble seat on a Lancia Stratus. Okay. But right here, where all the electronics are and a lot of the controls, that's just fine. The Lancia Stratus actually has a high, what I would call, hip line. And it's going to be a pretty messy drawing, but you're going to get the idea here. And one of the main design elements of a Lancia Stratus is it's a wedge shape. Okay? So we're going to draw this, we're going to draw this wedge shape down, and it actually goes through part of the, the line of the tire and suspension, like so. Okay? This is an oversimplified version, but you can start to see that wedge shape come together. Now, obviously, if this is just one wheel up front, all of this is going to be enclosed. But while I'm drawing this to visualize it, I'm going to draw it just like this, as if we've got 
two front wheels and we'll fill that in. Then another design element is these big almost triangular fender flares up here. That's mm, a little bit excessive but you get the idea. Okay and we've got a very forward facing window. Okay. And where we're going to come up to, we have to may have to move the seat down even lower to make this work, but we could adjust this down to here, okay? Here's the bottom, here's our floor pan. We can come down six, eight inches right here, okay? So our fella moves his head down, his butt down, okay? We're going to stretch out the foot pegs, okay? And there's just going to be an empty shell in here. And then what we're going to do is the Lancia Stratus has this, this little lift bar right here, see? right there like that and on the car this whole back piece is what they call like a clamshell that rotates up like this to get to the engine compartment we can keep that design element in place you put a hinge right about back here and the whole thing will tip back and now it's got a little short roof that's just a little scoop about like so and we've got, we want to bring this bar up just slightly. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's also our handle to open up the back end. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Look at that shape on the back. And we're going to bring this fender line out a little bit. I'm going to blend this. See how that, we've got a little bit of an angle here, see? Like this is in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then this high line. And then you got this little, oops, I brought that down a little too far. You get the idea. This is a little fucked up. There we go. Pardon my language here. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to fill this in because the tire is actually going to be way down inside there. And I used a pen, obviously. So you're just going to have to use your imagination to clean this up. It would look stupid as can be. But remember what like a Reliant Robin looks like? They have the wit they have that front wheel all the way in there. And I don't know how to draw this so that it kind of blends it in. That would look stupid. But look guys, we just turned this trike into a Lancia Stratus. This is gonna be an ongoing thing, by the way, I think. <laughs> just because I think it's funny. So my this comes from I was on a Facebook group where I was doing uh, fiberglass modifications on my NB Miata, so 2000 or 99 to 2007 or whatever it was, that style of Miata, and I did a design where I turned one into a Lancia Stratus, and it wasn't an exact replica, obviously. The proportions are slightly off, but the funny thing is, is the wheelbase on a Lancia Stratus and a Miata are within like an inch of each other, if I remember right. So visually, you're never going to notice that. You just make your wheel arches where they need to be for the car that you're using, but nobody believed that I could make the that I could cover the bulges in the hood where the engine would be well the trick is you modify things under the hood you'd have to take off the front bumper and the radiator move the radiator to the back leave the engine where it is and you move that windshield forward so much that it disguises it and makes it look like it's rear rear engined mid-engined now I'm not gonna do that I think it's sacrilege to turn a front engine car into something that looks like it's mid-engine, rear engine. That's just not. And the whole point is the driving. So I'd turn a Miata into a, an old GT car or something like that, like a 60s style racer. But personally, no, I'm not going to do that. Or this, obviously. But just proves my point. You can turn anything into a Lancia Stratus.